in this module we will talk about data independence what is data independence why we need to have data independence what are the benefits of data independence and so on so what is data independence now if you recall in the prior modules we talked about different schemas we talked about models and you can see that when we spoke about and discussed about the schemas it is a kind of a layered approach so data independence means that i can make changes in one layer of the schema without affecting what is in the other schema that is data independence so i have the logical schema i can make changes in the tables in the relationships and by virtue of the data independence i don't have to worry about what is going to be happening in the physical schema and the benefit of the data independence is that the data is separated from what is going to be happening on the data because if there is no data independence then everything is collected together it becomes very complex and once changes are made at the lowest level those changes get reflected at the highest level it becomes very complex and complicated so let's go into more details so i have this logical schema i have this physical schema okay and over here you can see i have over here this is the independence physical data independence and logical data independence logical data independence i am concerned about the entities which i'll be discussing shortly and the things which are of importance and significance the relationship between them the constraints and their domain and so on and physical independence is that that data is stored what is the data about the data about the indexes okay about all those associated things data independence with reference to the physical schema it means that if i replace my hard disk magnetic hard disk with a solid state disk it is not my concern that is the physical schema that is a physical independence i hope you understand now uh, this is just a listing of what goes into physical data independence and what goes into logical data independence you can see that i can i am i am free about modifying the indexes there are many many different types of indexes give, giving different types of performance requiring different application domains so that is that is that is physical independence you can modify the indexes database location it is irrelevant where whether the data is stored on your machine on the server across the continent over a cloud that is the database location that is the data physical data independence and there are many many things over there then of course you can have merging of two records you can break an existing record is logical data independence why do we need to break the records or records why we need to combine them these are the performance issues but to the programmer or to the user everything is in the table which was defined as per the corresponding model and schema independence means that it is irrelevant whether it's a view i am writing just queries for the view and maybe the tables which are used to generate the view they may be they may be relocated it's it's all transparent that is the independence so you can see over here is a comparison of logical data independence and physical data independence you can see that it is difficult to retrieving data okay but in this case for physical data it, it, it is easy to retrieve so it depends upon which independence we are stressing okay concerned with the conceptual schema concerned with the internal schema this is not concerned what is happening over there so the point this slide is trying to make is that by virtue of this independence okay the developers the designers the analysts the architects okay they can work on different layers tiers okay 
without affecting the other layers and tiers. So that is the advantage. So how do we model these things? So we have this ERD entity relationship diagram and we have the UML unified 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 modeling language. Entity relationship is a diagram. But in UML there are many drawings. There are about 5 or 4 drawings okay or diagrams no basic drawing is a better word helps visualize the software system but unlike uh, traditional programming like java or c or c sharp or python there are no programming commands over here this is for software systems this is for database system they are not for the same just to give the difference over here and this the erd gives the relationship this is a representation. So you see that what we need to design a database is ERD, Entity Relationship Diagram, right? Not which is most suited for this purpose. Now let's look at the final slide which compares UML with ERD. So UML is general purpose. This is for a database. This has many diagrams. Actually, there are four diagrams. This is itself a diagram. This is for software system. This is for database system. So we can see that they are not the same. They are not the same. They have their own domains. We cannot say which is better or which is the best. It depends upon the application domain. But for us, ERD is the way to go. That's all I have to say in this module. Thank you very much.